Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. कैसे हो? ठीक हूँ आप कैसे हैं? बिल्कुल ठीक. Okay. So today we are starting a new topic that is uh, just for the change descriptive statistics. So it's a new one. Uh, okay. You may feel something difficult. But anyhow, we are going very quickly. It's a long session, but anyhow, I will try to divide it uh, in two sessions. So okay. Uh, you will have to let me know, and we will have to stop it. Okay, uh, so it's a uh, descriptive statistics. Uh, so one of the portion is over there in all the test. So ACT or SAT or GMAT or what? So all the tests are there. So this portion is very important. Let's start. Uh, this is the question. Please read this one. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, seven distinct integers are arranged in an ascending order. The range of smallest five integers is twenty, and that of the five integers is forty, which is the maximum range of the seven integers. Okay, so these are the choices. Now, uh, let me know that uh, what you are getting from this question. And uh, what the problem is, and what the information is given. Just think about okay. that for a while. And if you have any idea, please share with me. So it will facilitate me just to get the level of difficulty for me. Okay, so uh, seven distinct integers. That means like seven different uh, integers are arranged in ascending order, meaning like from lowest to highest. So it'd probably be like. Um, yes, uh, yes. X is like, yeah, X is less than like X or like Y or something like that. Yes, and then yes. um, it's an ascending order, uh, the increasing right. ones. Okay. Yeah. And then the range of the smallest five is 20, meaning like taking like the um, biggest number and subtracting it from the smallest number to get like the range. And then um, of the largest five, it's a 40 and the smallest five is 20. Right. And then what's the maximum range of the seven integers combined? Meaning like uh, the smallest okay. integer and the oh. biggest one. Okay, okay. Now you have the choices. If you have got an idea that what you will have to do, this, uh, this might be uh, what you can say that is for uh, first time this type of power you are facing. Am I right? Right. Yeah, oh. yeah, you are. Okay, it's a very new. It was just for change, it's still a very difficult, but that is the just the manipulation of the numbers. But right. uh, let's see, we are just proceeding. Uh, I think it's a slightly difficult for you if you are not gone through all these type of questions before that. So anyhow, it's a very simple. At the end, you will feel it's a very simple manipulation of the numbers. So okay. uh, only you have to keep this thing in mind that what is the range. So uh, you know what is range. In anyhow, but we will just uh, talk about that uh, with respect to the mathematics uh, statistics. Anyhow, let's see. We are just uh, moving to the next one. That is a part one. Jot down key data from the question. So it's a uh, what we can say the logical way that uh, whatsoever the problem is either either a easy one or difficult. So first of all, you will have to jot down the given information. That will be helpful. To the way to the solution so definitely something is given for uh, the information for um, do some calculation so we will have to trace uh, that information which is given in the problem let's see what is that so first step is key information so we are looking for the key information so i am start, slightly going a little bit faster because it's a very lengthy one but anyhow uh, it is very simple. Once again, I'm saying that it's a very simple uh, key information is seven numbers, all of them integers. So integers, right. we know what are integers and seven integers, distinct number, no two numbers same. So this is the most important thing that these are total in seven and these are distinct. Okay. Third one is range of the smallest is five. Range mean that uh, uh, from this to that, that if you can subtract 
the largest value or subtract the smallest value from the largest you can get the gauge so it's a once again simple the next is the range of the largest is 40 so actually we have divided into two equal by two parts these are total seven so uh, first we are just uh, calculating the range of the first lowest one and smallest numbers and then we are starting from the top to the bottom accounting five and we are getting the range so it's so, all that was the uh, four information what we can say the four points were there in the um, problem now step two is making sense of the data now it's a pain taking or it's a brainstorming that we'll have to convert that four points into what i mean to say into the pure mathematical format let's see seven in uh, distinct integers okay let ascending okay. order of the seven digit ascending order so they are just going up and up and up x1 x2 yeah. x3 x4 x5 x7 so uh, we don't right. know from where we will have to start but at least uh, we have a sense that these are just increasing ascending right okay so this is the first thing the second one is that uh, uh, one is less than the next one the next one the next one the order is so simple the largest one is right. seven number and the smallest one is the first number so that's why we are putting just in order that this is the ascending order anyhow let's see the second is range of the smallest five is five so here you talk about the range there what is range so let's see uh, uh, what uh, i was saying uh, in the beginning that the if you are looking for the range so just subtract the smallest one from the largest one it's a range so this is given now but we don't know the largest fifth and the smallest first so that's we are just posing x1 x5 x1 these are the subscripts these fives are not the multiplier uh, what i mean to say that let me explain this one that that is uh, just uh, uh, you can write just like this this is the subscript this is the fifth one minus the first one are you getting this yeah so it's a uh, difficult or time taking to just to put them these five uh, five and one in subscripts so uh, it's a no problem anyhow x five so you can consider just like that so whenever we'll talk about that so you would have to consider all these these are the x1 over subscript x2 just like that x3 x4 x5 just like that and x1 is just like that similarly you can get x7 so it's just the numbering of the number okay okay so yeah don't make sense that that x5 mean that that time five time or one time or so it's a very simple that's why i have written this one and all these numbers are x1 x2 with the subscript and so on and at the end xm so okay so don't mix up with that so at uh, the this stage i have clarified all the things anyhow we are just going to continue the next one is that is the let's see what's that so here alternative ways of expressing what i mean to say that the one thing is given in mathematical form we are just going to write that one that x5 what i mean to say this is once again the fifth digit fifth integer am i right are you getting this right so don't mix yeah. this x5 is a number x fifth what we, we can say the fifth integer is equal to what we are just going to uh, shift the x1 on the other side so the things are same just the different way so we can write just like this so if you are looking for x5 so that will be just like that and if you are looking for x1 so we can also write in this way so are you getting this this is yeah. simple uh. manipulation simple manipulation so we are yeah. just starting from the simplest to the difficult we will just proceeding on this way so okay let's see the range of the largest five so that that was all about the first part the we were uh, just manipulating the range of the first uh, five numbers now we are coming down to the uh, range to the five largest number uh, from the top 
let's see it's a 40 once again the given and this is the what we will have to start from the fifth and sixth and fourth and so on so we'll end up at x3 the third integer so its range is 40 as i have told you that the range being the difference of the two extreme values what i mean to say subtract the least value from the maximum value this is called the range in statistics anyhow let's see alternative ways of expressing so uh, that's once again the same steps if you are uh, getting x7 then you will have to do something just like that if you are interested to find the maximum of out of the greatest uh, top five numbers so you can get this so i think it's a very simple no need to spend more time am i right so we should go ahead proceed to the next slide okay 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 no no need to uh, do something else okay the second part is visually represent to arrive at the answer so we are just closer to the answer but before the answer we will have to analyze each and everything which is given in the problem uh, so the step three is that we have done the two basic steps first we have written all those things which are in the problem then we have just manipulated those things in mathematical way and now we are at the third step so visually presenting data look at these numbers so uh, suppose these balls these circles are the real numbers real integer which you are, you are dealing for to get the answer uh, data as given in the equations y x1 to x7 is ascending order. so it's a ascending order. each and every seven balls are representing the digits okay are you getting this it's a visual okay. way or a visual way it's a visual way just to see the numbers because we are looking for these numbers so look at this the x3 okay. and x5 so if you're just counting from the bottom what i mean to say from the ascending order that is from the bottom to the from the smallest to the largest so you will get five these am i right these are the five numbers yeah from the bottom and if you're just coming out so x1 x4 x5 come into both ranges now these are the common numbers if you are coming down and counting five you will end up at x3 if you are going up and counting five you will reach at x5 so right. that's why these are the okay. common the smallest five and the largest five what i mean to say uh, that this time x5 uh, is counted as the largest number and if you're coming yeah. down, so you will have to come down from the x7 so let's see this is what all the same numbers and we will have to just write down the maximum range of seven integers maximize what i mean to say the real range of all these seven is that the difference of this least value from the maximum subtract the least from the maximum so x7 is our maximum number the largest number and x1 is our smallest number so just okay. it's a very simple mathematics we are just uh, uh, connecting the least to the maximum value so minimum and maximum yeah. are connected with the this lines these arrows so <clears throat> pushing x1 as much uh, to the left as possible and x7 as much to uh, the right as possible will maximize x7 minus x1 so whatsoever you are you can think about that so these are the two endpoints so that's why we'll get the maximum value let's see push x1 to left extreme and x7 to right extreme look at this so in between all those five digits five integers so we are just considering the end points this is the least one and this is the highest or maximum so minimum and the maximum then we are just pushing pushing in their respective direction it's going down it's going up or right left so yeah effect notice the following effect of pushing x1 to the left and x7 to the right let's see what is that when x1 is pushed to the left x5 which is x plus 20 I'll just recall that one from the range we have find the value of x5 is x1 plus 20 also moves to the left so 
this is the upper limit of first five least numbers. So that's why it's also moving to there. Now look at this one. Okay. This was the x y. So let's just going left wide. Therefore, the extent to which x one can be pushed to the left will be determined by the extent to x five can be pushed to the left. So uh, this is just the inter uh, link movements of these two numbers. But anyhow, uh, when x seven is pushed to the right, x seven, x three, which is uh, what I need to say, x seven minus forty. That range was given, and we have just calculated the value of x three. Also moves to the right. Oh, okay. This x three, and this is just moving because this is the lowest point of the uh, top five numbers from the uh, descending order. So true. Yeah. Uh, therefore, the x seven can be pushed to the right will be determined by the extent to which x three can be pushed to the right. So the, their movements are interlinked with each other. So one is okay. that uh, the first five numbers are moving left, and the Next five numbers are what I mean to say. Uh, from the top, they are moving right. Let's see what will happen to this. Okay. So this is just making the cluster. That uh, once uh, if we are just calculating the range of the first numbers, and then we are calculating the range of the top five numbers from the top to the bottom. So these are total same. So in this way. What should you do? Okay, push x five as much to the left and x three as much to the right as possible. How? These are the two extreme ends. The x one is a minimum. Right. X seven is the maximum number. To maximize okay. the range between x one and x seven, so it's actually range is the what we can say the distance, the what we can measure. Between the two uh, distinct points, that is called the range. So, this is the expansion. Right. So, maximum range between three x and five x. So, no further movement is possible. So, we are at the extreme ends. So, let's see what is that. So, these are the two digits. If you are just coming down, so x five, and if you are going up, then it will be x five. But I mean to say. If you are starting from here and you are getting the range, so you will end up over here. These are the five. And if you are coming down, so you'll have to start and you will have to reach at x three. So what I mean to say, okay. these these are the common numbers. They are coming yeah. together in both the ranges. What I mean to say, if you are calculating the first five the range of the first five digit integers, so you will have to be over here. And if you are Yeah. Calculating the range from the top to the bottom, first uh, five. Uh, what I mean to say, the last five numbers. So you will end up over here. So these are coming together. These are the endpoints somewhere of this range okay. over here, ending over here, and from here this will be over here. So that's why to maximize the range between x one and x seven, maximum minimize range between x three and x five. What I mean to say. Just bring these closer to each other, and then you will find x four. But I mean to say, there is the only possible integer is x four. No, right? X. Now we have that this is just like a sandwich. So x four is sandwich between x three and x five. Am I right? Are you getting this? Yeah. So it's a yeah. visual understanding. What I mean to say. It's a magic of mathematics that you can manipulate the things visually also. So this time we are considering these circles, these balls. These are the seven numbers, and we are just coming and pushing left to right, and we are getting a number which is exactly between the two limiting point. What I mean to say that if you are counting from the bottom, you will reach at the x five. If you are coming from the top, you will end up to x three. So, what is in between be these two limits? So that is x four. Okay. Right. So, are you getting yeah. this? Okay. Let's see. So, minimize the max. Make x three, x four, x five three consecutive integers. So, these are three consecutive integers. They are very important for our problem solving. 
they are coming together yeah they are close to each other there is no way to put anything in between these three digits or x4 is exactly sandwiched between x3 and x5 okay now let's see the part third is method solve algebraically to get the answer so uh, the two steps what the first step was very simple but whatever the whatsoever the information was given we were just putting it together and in the second, we are just manipulating things here and there mathematically. And yeah. then this is the, uh, what we can say, the real problem solving uh, part. That is the third part, that is method one. So I'm sure that we can talk about the first method and tomorrow we will talk about the second one. Although this is the part yeah. of this presentation, okay. but anyhow, uh, we will just restrict ourselves to the first method just to avoid all that ambiguity or mixing up the methods. Anyhow. Uh, so coming back to the problem, what I mean to say, now uh, this time we are just going to do some magic, some mathematics. So we will have to keep the problem in our, uh, what we can say all the time in front of us, that what is the, so problem is that uh, after going that much discussion, we must uh, keep this thing in mind that what we are looking for, that is the maximum range of seven integers. Okay. This is the most wanted thing. Okay. So seven distinct major range, smallest 20 range of largest five, largest number uh, is 40. So this is all about that. So one thing is that is at the top of the line, that is the seven integers. We are looking for the maximum range. And these two ranges are given if we are going from the bottom to the top and top to the bottom. Am I right? Okay. Right. Approach. Express x7 in terms of x1 minus the link is x3 and x5. So let me explain this one. Okay, how? How we'll do this? The x3, x4, and x5 should be three consecutive integers in order to maximize the range of seven integers. What I mean to say? So this is the thought, this is the idea behind our mind, what we can say in our mind. Okay. That, uh, from here we can say that uh, just to make it maximize these x3 the third digit third integer the fourth one and the fifth one should be three consecutive integers in order to maximize the range of seven integers and you say that right. these there should not be any break there must not be anything in between these so they must be consecutive integers no way to put any other, no jump up or down. Right. So this is the one thing. The second one is that we can say just like that, that X5 is X3 plus two. Look at this, this is a pure mathematics. If you are talking about the consecutive number, so what you will have to do, you will have to add one more, one more, one more. But I mean to say here, if I, I'm getting the fifth number. So what should I do? That I should add X4 plus one. Are you getting me? Yeah. We will get, but we are not talking about X4. So in between there is X3. So if we can add the X3, uh, two to X3, we'll get, we'll reach the X5. Are you with me? Yeah. You're getting this point. If we are skipping, uh, if we are sp skipping one number, let's suppose right. one, two, three, four. And yeah. if we are reaching at four, we are getting the next number. We will have to add only one number, only one. Yeah. Four. And how can we get five? Just add one to four. Add one. Five. Okay. Yeah. But if you are missing four and you are at three and you want to get X five, so you will have to add how much? Two. Oh, two. 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 Okay, yeah, I get it. So, so that's why x5 is because x3, you can ask why you are missing this four x4. We are not interested in x4 because x4 is not included in our any range, not from the bottom, not yeah. from the top. So, the two vital numbers are the x5 and x3. So, these are both limiting numbers. So, if you are coming down, so you will end up at x3. If you are going up, you will end up at x5. So, that's why x5 and x3 are the more important digits so that's why we are skipping this x4 and we are coming together to get the 
x5 in terms of x3. So x3, and you have, to, if you are missing one digit, so you have to one more, add one more. So that's why we are adding two. Okay, I'm sure this is the equation one, and you have the idea how to get it. All right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Now well, let's see. Uh, we know that x5 is, so this was the initial information that x5, the range x5 minus x1 is 20. So that is the range that is given also. So you can see the second line now from the top of the slide. So from here, x5 is x1 plus 20. Range of smallest, 5 is 20. All right. So this was so simple. We have written this one. This was from the range. Hello. Yeah. Okay. It's oh. a simple. It's, an, it's a yeah. simple, it's a simple in there, is there any ambiguity or confusion? No, no, I got it. Okay, that was the range. That x5 minus x1 was 20, that was given from here. So x5 yeah. is x1. So look at this. Then by replacing x5, now we will put the value from here, x5, that is x3 plus 2. The first thing will become, that is x5. That is equal to this is yeah. the value of x5. Right. So x5 over here, this value will come down to this place. That's why this will become x3 plus 2. And then the right hand side is this is the right hand side. So x1 plus 20. Uh but we can get it just like this. This 20 will go on the other side. So we'll get 18. So x3 is x1 plus 18. This is the second equation. Right. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Okay. So we have yeah. two, two equations now. One is the x5, second is the x3. So the most in, interested values we have just uh, in, interpreted these x3 and x5 into a mathematical equations. So this is x5, x3 plus 2, and this is x3, x1 plus 18. Okay. Okay. We, we also know x7. <clears throat> that was the range between the top five number. So this is x7 minus x3 is 40. So x3 is come over here. Range is that is the same story. Now look at this. X7 is. We will put the value of x3. Okay. Okay. Look at this. X3 is what? X3 is this. So x7 as it is coming over here. And this right, uh, sign of equality as it is. Here we have x3. So we are putting the x3 from here. x3 is x1 plus 18. So just we are putting this one. And this part okay. will remain the same. I'm sure right. that you are with me at this step. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Look at this. So this will become x7. And if I just adding this. So this is x1 plus 8. Oh, it's a very simple. Now, one more step will give you the range that you are looking for. What is the maximum range of the 7 integer? From, from this step now, what is your answer? My answer is you. My answer is 58. Let's see. How? Wait, are you asking me how you got 58 or? How? How? Oh, uh, we are looking for the range and range is the right. difference between the maximum and the minimum values. Yeah. So if you are just shifting this X1 to left, this will become yeah. X7 minus X1. And that yeah. is y at X7 minus X1. The difference yeah, of the two the extreme end is range. So answer must right. be, answer must be 58. Okay, so you at the beginning you have no idea what is range. How can yeah. you get uh, just by doing all these steps, we will have the right answer. So this is x7 minus x1, that is 55. And by definition, what I mean to say that the range is simply the difference of the minimum and the maximum values. Range. Right. So maximum range is 50. Maximum is? Is 58. So oh, yeah. this is the answer of this state, this problem. 
Oh, okay. That is right at the top of the slide. What is the maximum range of uh, seven integers? And what was given? Actually, we have manipulated this information. Seven distinct integers, all right? Everybody right. can get the integers, one, two, three, four, five, up to seven. Count from, start from anywhere and end at any number that will complete the seven countings. Then range, the smallest five, right from the bottom is 20. And the range from the largest five from the top is 40. Calculate the maximum range. The maximum range will be the seven minus the first one. That's, that will get. But we are not sure about which number is the seventh one. We are not uh, given which number is the first one. So how can we calculate the range? It's very difficult if the two endpoints are not given. It's very difficult to calculate the range. If these endpoints are given, it's a very simple. We can calculate just within the seconds. But the other two information, the most basic information, the key to the solution, this information is given that the range of the first five number is this, and the range of last five numbers is this. So with the help of those, we have just given the simple algebraic uh, formation. We are converting the things here and there in algebraic form. So we are getting at, uh, reaching at the required and desired answer. Are you getting this? Is there any confusion? The first uh, time no, there's no confusion. Okay. The first time you were uh, tackling this problem or you were looking at the solution. Yeah. So uh, uh, in the beginning, anybody can be uh, feeling very difficult that how uh, we can calculate the range from these two ranges. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, we don't have the right idea to get the perfect solution. But anyhow. But so we have done it. I will send all these slides. And I used to I just keep on sending the slides. The reason is this that uh, all around when you are sitting there, so you must go through those slides and you will get so many things. And you yeah, you will learn a lot of things. And if the second purpose is if you are just reading those slides all alone, and there is some confusion there's ambiguity in any step. So you can just refer that one to me. But please, I, when I was all alone, I was reading this. So at that, this point, I was not getting whatsoever is uh, over there. So I will be explained. I will do something more for that just to give you the clear cut idea. So what I mean, so to say this was the simplest way just to get uh, reach the answer. But uh, after having said that, so there is a, another method. It's a slightly what I a better alternative, but it's a slightly difficult. So we are just uh, uh, should we continue or we should take a break just to keep this uh, idea with our mind. So it's a totally think, different one. Yeah, I think it's since it's pretty new. I think we should take the break here. Because, okay. Uh, Tomorrow yeah. we will we will talk about that. So we will start yeah. from this uh, method too. It's a slightly uh, different from that so uh, once again i am just rewinding in a few uh, sentences that recapitulate that that is probably if you are just uh, making the mind map uh, if you are asked yeah. to find the range between some integers and you are not uh, given those integers so it's very difficult uh, if yeah. the other information is that you, you are asked the uh, that these uh, this is the information that the range of the first five are this one and the last five is this one. So you will have to manipulate all the things. You will have to mark the key points. That is, the, what are those limits which are including in between? So uh, you can go back to the slides and you will get the idea how to do it. So you can make, uh, yeah. so it's a, uh, once again, uh, that's uh, intentionally I have selected this topic that is all about the statistics. So statistics yeah. is just like the mathematics and there is a portion that is a lot of questions are coming from this statistics that is called the descriptive statistics. So uh, next time or any time 
we will talk about the mean mode median averages moving averages and there are so many other things which are included yeah so uh, just to go back to these things just make your mind just uh, make the problem of your own and just provide this i will send uh, all these slides when i will get the time to you and you can just uh, read them and uh, i am also just recording these uh, lessons uh, for the youtube users so i am just yeah, that's loading fine. Uh, loading on the, my channel that is a uh, sky on schedule channel so for the future okay. reference or for any need if somebody is interested to just uh, know about all these things so uh, he or she can get some idea that to what the things how the things are going on over there but anyhow thank you very much for today so it's uh, we are just taking a break just till tomorrow okay okay allah hafiz allah hafiz okay.